All right, guys, welcome back to the Solidity Mappings tutorial. Uh, it's part two of your mapping tutorial that I'm offering. If you haven't looked at part one, please go ahead and do that now because then you're going to be totally lost uh, as I talk through more terms. So last time we were here, we talked about mapping and how it actually works in terms of it actually works as a one-way hash function. Uh, it's not really a data structure that stores data sequentially. And when I talked about getting a value from a mapping, is we're actually feeding the the key to the hash function, the SHA3 hash function, hashes it, gets gets your result, and that's your memory location of where your value is stored. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a set function for a person struct and we're going to pass in an address we're gonna pass in an ID that we want to set it to and then we're also gonna pass it a name represented by bytes we'll make this public and now we are going to do our set here so let me explain to you what's happening here now we're actually going to take the same lines of code, okay, and we're going to fetch our person at that address. Okay, so what's actually happening there is we're doing the same thing we're doing above. We're going to take the value of A, we're going to hash it, and once we hash it through the SHA-3, it's going to give us a result. It's always going to give us the same memory location, okay. So it'll give us 0x0a, okay? And once we get the memory location, then we get a reference to that value at that, at that position, okay? Which is gonna be our struct, okay? So now we can actually say person.id is equal to what's coming in, person.name is equal to what's coming in, okay? So what we're doing now is whatever they pass in through the function is we are going to set it to our person struct, okay? And then once we set it to our person struct properties, then we've officially set our values at that address, okay, for that person. And we're also going to do one more set, which is going to indicate that for this particular address, we have set a person. Okay, so we can say that person dot is person is equal to true. Okay, so what that does is it tells the mapping, and this is I'm, I'm doing this, you know, I'm, I'm coding this. So for me to know that an actual person exists at that address, this should return true. If it doesn't, that means this will return false. Okay, so let's let's take a look. So if I, I'm gonna run this, actually I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So I will create this mapping demo and I'm going to get the person at my account address. Okay, this is a test address. So if I paste this in here, okay this is gonna hash my address and get the struct person and get the default values right now it doesn't exist okay it doesn't exist so if I get person see that so I have a zero ID uh, I have all zeros for my name and my my is person bool value is false because we haven't set it yet Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set person. Okay, I'm going to set it with ID 123 and I'm going to call him John. Okay, so once I set that and now I do a get on that same address, then you see that the value has been set to true. Okay, the value has been set to true. Okay, so. This is actually weird. One, two, three. It's doing this. Hold on. And then 
John. What I was expecting is for my uint person ID ID uh, ta -ta -ta. okay so let's actually do this again just so let's let's do this so paste we'll do one two John okay so we set the person and then we get this person at that address okay there we go that's what I was expecting so now we have one two which is what we set okay we got John uh, which is this byte hex code okay representation and we have set true okay so now let's say we want to actually reset the person at that address okay now you like I said you're talking about hash functions okay you're talking about hash functions you're not storing the keys anywhere okay you're gonna store only its hash value of whatever the keys coming in so what's gonna happen is you never really delete an element from a mapping what you do is you get the value at the address that you wanna reset and then you delete you delete that uh, data structure or memory memory uh, allocations okay so if I wanted to delete myself okay and save space so then I can say it's function uh, delete person I want to pass it the address okay so I want to pass it the address that I want to delete it at and same thing okay we say delete and get me the address at, get me the memory location at that address which means that I'm gonna pass in my address my account address hash it okay this is gonna return 0x0a and then I'm gonna delete the value there so what's gonna happen is these values will get set to their defaults meaning this will be zero this will all be zeros and this will be false okay you don't completely obliterate everything you just set them back to their default values so let's um let's rock let's try and do this again so if I create my mapping demo so I'm gonna get my address here initially initially I should be have nothing right so I don't have anything I have zero, zero, and then false. Okay. So then if I paste my address and I want to set myself to a person, okay, I'll have one, two, three, uh, John. Okay. So I set myself to a person. I'm going to see if my values got set. They did. Okay. So they did. Uh, and now let's say at, at whatever some future point we actually want to get rid of this person at this address okay remember we're not deleting the value from the mapping we're not doing that we're actually getting the location of where it's stored so we said that this magic magic hash function takes my address and gets a, re, a memory location of 0 x 0 a so that's where I'm actually stored okay so what's gonna happen is when I pass it my address again we're gonna the the mapping is gonna say okay I'm gonna hash you okay which means I'm gonna get back 0x0a zero zero and we're gonna delete whatever is in there so it's gonna zero out these values when my struct and you'll see that okay so this is actually gonna change back to zero all zeros and false okay, so let me delete okay so now let's get back let's get myself again and see what happens so see that return back to false so we don't completely obliterate it. Um, what's going to happen is it's just going to check that memory location, get that struct, and get the values. And because they're default, then this person is no longer set. Okay. So a couple important concepts here. We talked about setting a person, which is pretty easy. And then we talked about deleting the person. And the concept of deleting is not really 
obliterating it from the mapping what's actually happening is we're passing the address to the mapping okay because of the address the key right here now this key could be anything like I said right now I'm using an address because that's most pretty much what everybody uses it for and it gets hashed get my memory location and then I get my data struct my value struct from there okay so mappings again it works the same way if I had a mapping of a uint to another uint okay we're mapping a uint data type so it's gonna any value that I pass in here so let's say I pass in five that is also gonna get hashed okay and that memory location is gonna go somewhere else somewhere arbitrary okay so I hope this has enlightened you in terms of how mappings work and again we cannot map through uh, we cannot loop through mappings uh, try and change your mindset I hope this has changed your mindset of, of the understanding of why we can't loop through a mapping because you know it's not really a sequential data structure it's more of a hash function it's a one-way hash function okay if you have any questions you can always email me at parttime magic on gmail.com check me out at parttime um, any questions drop me some comments on YouTube remember always no ads never give you ads all free content thanks I'll see you on the next video